All right, everybody, welcome to the Internet Sports Broadcast Network. And we are back after a week off, and we're getting to that great time of year. But we want to welcome Donovan Hughes, Todd Frank, and Hardy Burke to our Kitchen Table Sports Talk. Guys, what's up? Howdy, what's up? Howdy, howdy, ho. Hi. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Put that scotch down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> or pour another one. Fingers. <laughs> hey, hey guys, so yeah y'all want to do college first or we can do, do anything you want man football. just just fire away i'll bounce off you guys tonight you guys are the experts so let's go all right well uh i guess we can just start with uh the poll i mean not the polls but the the actual bowl games have been set and yeah. i guess we can talk about the the top four what everybody thinks about the top four I mean, sounds top good four, to me I mean, I, I think it, it it was actually right on for me. I, I think they did – they got it all right. So, um, so you and, mean Baylor's not there? Well, he, yeah, I, I knew you were going to do that. Well, um, I have to. You're my buddy, and I got to give you crap, you know. But, so, but, I, but anyway. I, I, I will tell you this. Um, <laughs> they, they gave more of a game than y'all thought they were going to do. They gave a great game, and then lost their quarterback. I was thinking I was going to be giving you a high five. How's that? Yeah, I mean, that, I'm serious. I'm serious. That, that game would have been that. There's, there was, yeah. That, that's a that's a total different game. I agree. Starter plays the I whole agree time, with you. and they were in the game the whole time. I agree. So, I yeah. mean, it is what it is. They played really well. They just, you know, had that bad luck with the quarterback situation, and I'm telling you, they were in that game all the way. So, yeah. you, kudos to you for making well, that call. I will tell you this, and we'll probably talk about this later, but. Um, Georgia better watch out because uh, once that, that third string quarterback gets some reps behind him, if he's the one starting in the bowl game, uh, I, they better watch out. I'm, wow. I'm telling you. So what's our matchups? What's the matchups for top four this weekend? So, oh, man, the top four. So you got uh, – LSU. LSU. Ohio against, State. Oh, no, LSU against Oklahoma. Right. Which <laughs> – I'm yeah, not, that could go either way. I agree. No. I, I agree. No, no, no. I don't agree. That's gonna you be don't? a butt. That's gonna be a butt whipping. Okay. No, that's gonna be a butt whipping. Okay. Uh, it'll be it'll be a higher scoring game, but LSU will stop Oklahoma enough. That, yeah, their defense uh, is good. Okay. Oklahoma's defense has stepped up and done a lot better than right. they started the year as. Right. But there are there. I think they're not on the level that LSU is. This is LSU's year. I'm sorry, it just is that magic comes together sometimes, and I think that's what, what's happening. Yeah, they kind of remind me of uh, uh, when Texas had Vince Young, and they kind of remind yep. me when Auburn had Cam Newton. You know, yep. you just they just were there. You know, they yep. just were the team of destiny or something like that. that. They can't do anything wrong, it seems like. You're right. Plus, you got a Heisman Trophy motivation, you know, behind it. So, winner. So, um, you know, that's good. And then I guess other games are going to be uh, Ohio State and Clemson. Now, I, Todd, you want to jump in here? Uh, but I, he's drinking. I, I think man. that's good. I, I think he's uh, having an awesome he's having, game. He's having a scotch. I mean, who, who doesn't like Clemson? Well, hey. compared to Ohio State, though, I mean, um, oh, they're beast. I mean, it's going to be. A great I think game. Ohio State beats Clemson finally. I, but, so I'm I'm on the other end of the spectrum because I think. Clemson was young in a lot of positions, and they have they this the second I guess the last three or four games, they looked like Clemson that won a national championship last year, and against some pretty good competition, not great, but against some pretty good. Ohio State's been the most consistently good team on both sides of the ball all year long. Yeah, completely. No, they yeah, are a total machine. Yeah, but but you know Clemson shows up for this stuff. They do. They do. You, they do. you know, you can't discount them. It may look like it's not a good match on paper, but, you know, it, you just never know. But I think they got the right top four teams. I guess we could say that, correct? No, yeah, absolutely. I, I don't think anybody – you know, nobody got snubbed mm -mm. by any means. No, man. And let's see. Uh, uh, do we have any injuries out of this that's going to affect the other teams, one of the other teams? Do we – do you have any problems? I don't think so, do we? No, as far as the, the big games? Right. No. And no. those were on this weekend? 
before Christmas? Yeah. So they play you got, this weekend. Yeah. No, next the uh, following weekend. They play after Christmas. So oh, okay. Weekend. So they got a two week layoff to get prepared yeah. for each other. So it's, yeah, it's the following week. Okay. Yeah, the twenty eighth. They both play on the twenty eighth. Uh, Clemson. Right. Um, it's the Oklahoma plays first, and then at four, and and uh, Clemson Ohio State play at uh, at eight. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a great day. Great, great day. Are, are mean, we watching the game at your place? Of course. Nice. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I got an open door. You know how many people end up over here sometimes during the football right. game. So, uh, right. It's whatever. Dom has got, like, the ultimate, you know, pad, you know, for uh, uh, two, you know, big screen TVs. Right. Uh, other couches. The thing well, that holds all the scotch. So, in the so, 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 Donovan, if you have an open door, what kind of TVs do you have? I'd like to know. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, actually, actually, I, I don't have a big screen. I, I, have a, I have a 65 inch. I don't have a 120 inch. Like a oh, darn one. you. Darn yeah, you. No, no, I'll tell I, you, as cheap as they're getting, you could go get a big old 90 inch for a pretty good yeah, deal right now. Yeah, Cheaper. Yeah. 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 Well, Maybe on your budget, but not mine. No, but not I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not mine. That's funny. Well, sixty-five is plenty, dude. Come on. No, that's cool. Go. Yeah, I know. I we, I just like the people in the camaraderie. We get everybody together. And yeah, I think that's great. It's fun. Chips and so. chili, and and we got so much football stuff coming up. You know, it, it, it's just a, it's it's amazing. I I was proud of see Texas finished up on the right foot this year. They did, and they actually uh, followed up, and they they got 16 recruits signed today, which is a big deal because of how they they ended yep. the year. Yeah, they they fired both coordinators. Yeah, they just they just hired Ash as a defensive coordinator. That's um, a good move. Which, if we want to talk about it, you know, good he move. he won a national championship with Oklahoma State. That's what I'm saying. Good I know move. Oklahoma State. I'm sorry, Ohio State. When when um. Uh, Harmon was there as a coordinator, offensive coordinator, when they won it. And 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 when we, you look back at his his uh, with at Wisconsin, everywhere he's been, um, Ash has done really well in, on the defense. He's a turnaround. Like the first season's a big time turnaround, and they've gotten better every year. Now, of course, the last two years he was at Ruggers did not end well. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know if anybody can win at Ruggers. So I. I but I think it was a good hire on the defense. We'll see on the offense. There's, they've thrown some names around. Joe Brady, Graham yeah. Harrell. Graham, Graham Harrell's uh, going to stay with USC. But, but who knows? Well, we'll see how it goes. And, and Auburn put Alabama out of the picture completely, didn't they? <laughs> <More evil. laughs> what a game. What yeah. a game. Yeah, very never, never, Yeah, very much. I'm sorry we're talking. We, we're, we're going back a little bit, guys, listening in. But – I was sick last week and missed yeah. it. I just had to put on my War Eagle Tigers, there, buddy. So there you go. I, way, I was to, I was rooting go, for Auburn. guys. I was I was rooting for Auburn. So, I was yeah. too. All right. So what else, man? What what are you? What else, Donovan? What do you think on these matchups? Uh, okay. So on the college football, on, like let's just I'd like to go through some games that I think are going to be really good through sure the, through the holiday. Sure. All right. So. Um, from the back going forward, uh, you know what? The the Baylor Georgia game January first um, is a is a big game. I talked about that. The Minnesota Auburn game. I, yeah. I, you know, I huge. It's that's a that's a big big game. And PJ Flick is that his name? Yeah. Yes, the coach from Minnesota. Yes. Um, it, so the, this would put him on the map for recruiting in the Big Ten. If he beats Auburn in this game, and you know, you know what though, Auburn is—you uh, may or may not know this. I've been reading between the lines, watching the Auburn football. Davidson and Brown, because they're draft high draft choice, may not play. Yeah, so that's a big deal. And so that would on. kill them. That, oh, that would put Auburn at a huge disadvantage if they don't play, because they're like a, the the defense. A huge disadvantage, and the problem is perceptions, reality. Right. With recruits, right? Right. So I think like, that's wrong, by the way. It is very wrong. I I, I have I have a big problem with it. I I don't have a big problem with 
with, with somebody do. that's going to have – that's going to sign $10 million that will change his family's life forever, right? I, him thinking about that. But to go – to be playing football for probably 10 years old to 20, 20 21, 22 years old, and then at the very end, at the pinnacle – to, for a bowl game and a college and being around all your guys and not play, that's tough. Especially when those two guys make such a difference to that Auburn defense. And, and that's, that's the everything. Game. And, and you know what? Everything. I mean, I'm sorry. You represent a school, and until yeah. you have a paycheck in your hand, you play. You know, you show your show your guts. I mean, who, I, who wants to pass up a bowl game, you know, like that for the representing the school? That's just stupid. I, so I, that, I My opinion on that is I don't care. You know, these guys yeah. quit need to quit sitting out of these bowl games and quit discounting these bowl games. It, it, it it's hurting the 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 overall college, I think collegiate thing. You know, it's making the NFL more important than college, you know. These so anyhow, I'm just telling you. Well they have I, insurance ran, policies. I, if they don't play, they lose big time. They're, they they're, have it they have yeah. insurance policies for yeah. just those things right there. Right. So Anyhow, that, I, I'm on. I'm on the, and I'm sure there's lots of other teams doing the same thing. But it just, it, it's just crazy to pull your two best guys out of a defense. They'll get killed without them. Killed. There, uh, there's no, there's no way there to stop them. I still think Auburn wins the game. Actually, going away. Wow. So uh, I do. Well, that's Mich good. Okay, keep going through your list. I'm sorry. Mich Michigan, Alabama. Uh, very. Uh, I think Alabama will roll. Will roll. I do, <laughs> with with the the second string quarterback. I, I do. I think. Yeah. I, I just do. They're good uh, with him. No, they are. But yeah. you know, it, it it is what it is. But there's some and, good games, is what you're saying. There's a lot of no just because you're not in the top four. There's some great matchups. So here here like the thirty first the, uh, uh, not not Christmas Eve, but New Year's Eve. You got Longhorns. They're playing yeah. Utah. That's gonna be a good game. If if you had to hold me down and with a gun, who I was going to pick, I'd pick Utahns. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and by the way, since we missed last week, look, look at what Oregon did to Utah. I was watching that game. Utah just wasn't even in that game, brother. Which is weird. Which was uh, weird. They didn't even look like the same team. They did. They had looked all year, but that's a good matchup. That's, I, yeah, uh, Notre Dame, Iowa State. Uh, I think it's a that's a toss up game, but I'd really like to see that. Um, that's on the 28th, the 27th, I'm going in reverse. The 27th, um, North Carolina Temple. I want Mac Brown to win. Uh, he's done really good in North Carolina. Hey, he's going to a bowl in his yep. first year. Uh, one of my clients uh, is a UNC donor here. And, you know, obviously he graduated from there and donor. And he could not say how happy he was so much to have Mac Brown back at North Carolina, and I'm yeah. happy for Mac Brown. I am, and, and, and you know his recruiting's going to go up. So you it already can, has. You, you can look at this team being yep. better and better and better. And the fact he went to a ball game first year, he made some great wins against some critical teams yep. during the season. So there, there, there's coaching, right? There's an yep. example of good coaching. I got two right left, there. real quick. Texas A&M, okay. Texas A&M, and Okie Light. Uh, oh. They they play on the 27th. I, I can't wait for Okie Light to throw all over them. Yeah. It's going to happen. Who, that's a who cares game. Yeah. A &M game. Well, <laughs> exactly. I'm going for Okie. And, and uh, Washington and Boise State. The reason I, I, I penciled this game in because Washington, even though uh, the coach left, uh, dang it, what's his name? Anyway, uh, for Washington, he used to be the Boise State coach. Uh, you're asking the wrong guy, man. I have no uh, idea. Dang it. Uh, Harson is the Boise State coach. He Thanks. was he was trained under uh, – I, I, I guess I spoke too too quickly on it. But, anyway, the Washington coach was the Boise State coach to beat Oklahoma in that that uh, game and uh, the game of all games, uh, New Year's Day game that they should have won. Nobody thought they could be there, and they beat Oklahoma with that yeah. – uh, with that uh, Statue of Liberty play. Anyway. <laughs> Man, uh, the stuff you remember, dude, amazing. Tom, no, it, he's a awesome. walking freaking encyclopedia of sports. Yeah, I'm telling you, when, when we're like, you know, putting back. <laughs> Good God. Can you about, tell me what you know, foot line he was on when he did the Liberty play, please? 
Todd fourth Gray. down. It was fourth down. Okay, see? See what I mean, Todd? Huh? Oh, no, 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 it was a two-point conversion. Todd, what were you going to say? <laughs> He's yeah. a freaking walking encyclopedia. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. He's awesome, man. It's like I'm when crack, you, baby. Yeah, when, when, when we start talking about this, it's like, Ernie, it's like, I got a buddy. You know, we need to bring him you're, on. You're right. He's a bomb. But he takes all the weight off of me, you know what I mean? I can just sit here and. You can just you sit know. there and drink scotch. I know yeah, what you're doing. Say, you know what? I'll We're not up. to the NFL yet. We'll hear yeah. you pipe up on the NFL. I'll, sh- I'll shut up. You don't need to shut up. Yeah, okay, so let's let's talking, make man. let's make some <laughs> predictions on the on the college side before we get to the NFL. So Donovan, let's start with you. Top four winners, losers. Top four: LSU First, wins, Clemson okay. wins. All right, Dodd. Yeah, I want to see LSU win. Um, I, I don't really uh, like people from Ohio State. Matter of fact, I think that we should probably like petition the Senate and the Congress to just <laughs> Ohio doesn't need to be a part of the United States anyways. I mean <laughs> I don't I don't even like them. So I'm I'm all for Clems. Kind of like California. Just cut it off. Yeah, California. We don't need them either. <laughs> no fine. Whatever. <laughs> so you're pulling for LSU, and then uh, and then the other game, okay, is going to be Clemson. Todd, is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm also going to pick LSU just because I think it's kind of like the destiny thing. Uh, the other game, I'm not sure. Um, uh, it's a toss-up game, but I'm yeah, going. I'm I, I, I'm I'm just going to reserve that. I'm going to wait and see. So I don't know. Clemson. Right. Let's go, Clemson. All right, guys. So, uh, NFL, let's go. Well, we got big games coming up. Todd, this is right up your alley. So, talk this is, about this is, the Cowboys. Yep. Were you happy finally for a change? Yeah. I mean, I didn't have to take any other presents. You know, they, were I mean, good they from finally the beat start. a team that was a, a, a more than a 500 team. So, that was that was promising. They showed Very up. Very promising. They showed we up. See if, we just have to see if they show up against the Eagles because that's uh, – that's that's where the uh, bullet hits the bone. Well, they're going to beat the Eagles, but here's the thing: uh, they actually are sitting in a number one seat. If they beat the Eagles, they can. Yeah. They yeah. don't have even have to show up. Yeah. Make the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. How, how crazy is that? That's insane, actually. Well, but hey, they did look good against the Rams. That, the one game I didn't see this year. That's right. That, yeah, and I, I was ready to turn it off as soon as it came on. I was going to watch the first drive and go, nope, I'm done. I'm not going to put up with well, this again. <laughs> I, I have formulated great. a uh, – uh, you know, know us Dallas too. fans have been, like, habitually let down this year. Yeah. I figured out a way to watch, you know, Cowboys game and, like, go to sleep at night feeling okay. Okay. What you do is you just watch it in reverse. <laughs> God dang. Yeah. So oh, very good because they do all the scoring in the last quarter is what you're saying in those games they lost, right? So you watch the great things they do yeah, in the last yeah, two minutes. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, and I mean that way I can go to bed, you know, yeah. and my liver thanks me. And that's wake funny. Up feeling great the next day. So I'm just hoping that they pull it out. I mean they've got so much talent, and I mean you know you think about what they have on paper. Uh, I mean they're the best team in the NFL with like one of the worst records, right? Seven and seven. So hopefully they- It's a scary just... team to face if you're, if, if you're going into the playoffs, you know, knowing that they have the capability, but all right. So Cowboys, 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 talked about them. The Ravens look strong still. Um, uh, yep, and they're gonna whoop, they're gonna whoop the Browns this week, bad. And, and you're excited about that, I know. I, I hey. am. I am. I hope they eat half of their firstborn when it's hey, all how about How about the Buffalo Bills beating Pittsburgh? Man, I'm telling you. How big Bills game was out. that? That was in Pittsburgh, they're good. too. They yeah, are they, good. They, 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 they've got a good package three. going. They're yeah. Really good. And, hey, and I, I do have a question for you, too. So, the quarterback for the Ravens, mm-hmm. do you all think that it's sustainable that he keeps on running the ball like no. he is? No. Until he gets hurt. Well, yes and no. I think I think that running will become more and more um, like the Seattle's quarterback. I, I do. Um, 
then hey, I, they're doing more design now, but he, he actually throws the ball really, really well. Really oh, yeah, well. he does some uh, Mahomes no. you know, sidearm and kind of no, unconventional you know, throws. I, I mean, he – like at this point, you could take the run away from him and they would still be a winning football team. I mean, it's not like – it's it's not like it's the the whole shebang of him running, right? He, the, I mean he, of course his receivers are open because they have they have to put seven eight people in a box to stop the run, so everybody's got man coverage. Maybe you got one over the top and this and that, but I mean, good lord. See, Donovan, that's the key right there. Is that even if he doesn't run all the time, he's a threat to run. Absolutely. As long as he's a threat to run, yep. then all the defensive backs have to decide what their next move is going to be the minute he makes that move, right? Is he going to throw it? So he opens up the whole field, and that's the problem with him. He doesn't have to run to be effective, but he no. runs enough to kill people, right? I mean, just literally. Well, um, he, when he does run, I mean, he's he's got moves and he's got speed. And he's yeah, got but speed. you know what? It's the NFL only takes one crunch the wrong yeah. way. To, like, like, look at RG3, right? Look how good he was before he got hurt. Look at uh, Cam Newton, how good he was before he got hurt. Well, and I, Everybody gets hurt in the NFL. Of, yeah, I mean, no, that's why I was does. asking you all about yeah. the sustainability of nah. him continuing to run. I mean, do you think they should say, hey, Lamar, you know, let's stay in the pocket a little bit more because – I mean, he's he's taking some hits from some you know big old monsters out there on the gridiron, and uh, that stuff adds up. Yeah, I I I I think as time goes on, as accurate as a passer as he is, and as good as he is, I think just knowing that he's a threat to run can change the whole offense. And that's the thing he brings to the table. You know, is that you have to spy him, all that stuff. So who knows? But as of right now, though. They look like a real contender for the Super Bowl to me. Absolutely, they, they, they do. And I, I, you have to get a, a shout out to Harbaugh and that coaching staff because they've tailor made this offense with him. They, they put all their chips in. Yeah. With, with him, and he has produced in every single area of it, from the running to the throwing to learning uh, all the concepts that you have to learn in football, like pro football. They're reading the defenses and all that stuff. And I'm not saying that they might not have simplified some things for him to get him to where he's at, but he just seems like he's growing every week. Yeah, but, it's, un it's, but unlike a lot of NFL teams, they also have a defense to go along with it. Well, that, yes, but I, he's like a Russell Wilson light yeah. to me right now. Yeah. That with, with a, a better scheme and a better line than Russell Wilson has, if that makes sense. Makes I mean, I, I think they're absolute powerhouses, and it's uh, some of the most uh, interesting games to watch, you know, with those Ravens. Just absolutely love watching them. They're fun to watch. You know, yeah. they, 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 you you look forward to seeing them no matter who they're playing, and it's kind of the same with Kansas City and, and yeah. um, you know, um, even even New England, as bad as they're struggling, they're still, what, 11-3? <clears throat> You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, not, they're mean, not struggling. It, they're they're not right, struggling. Right, they're but just, that's what everybody's saying. My they're point, just figuring my, it out. That's all they're point, doing. My they're point just figuring is, it out. They're 11 yeah. and 3 in the NFL. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> and they're struggling. Yeah. And, and people are going, oh my God, they're just in Come really on. bad tri trouble. Oh, you know? yeah, of course. Yeah. Right, right. It's just funny to me. I do want to give, go ahead. They're cheaters, though. We know that now. So. Well, I mean, I, I'm just kidding. It's happening. I want to give a shout out to Drew Brees. Yeah, hey, 540. Man, that what? was that was a wicked game, and man. What in the world? And on that game that he takes over the lead, what does he go? Do y'all know what he did for completion percentage? It was huge. Oh, he was like he was like 29 of 30, wasn't he? It was 28 of 29. If I'm not mistaken, you might be right. Yeah. Who, who does play. that? Tom Brady. Especially in the NFL, you know, and we're not talking little short five-yard dink passes either. We're talking about 20, 30-yard field passes down the field in between linebackers, zone, man-to-man, yeah. man, you know. So, so Todd, and I, Todd and I were tearing it up in bowling when it was going on. Oh, yeah. And How'd you guys – no, I can't talk about that. Oh, man, we dominated. <laughs> How'd y'all do? Well, we totally dominated. Yeah. I mean, we were, like, bowling these old ladies. 
Oh, and, uh, yeah, man, we just smashed them. Got yeah. all four points. Yeah, yeah. we feel great, great about ourselves. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did y'all roll like a 120 and beat them or something or what? No. Oh, hell no, man. Yo, Actually, Donovan was on fire. I think he had like two games. Yo, he had a 221. That's I did. A, that's a heck of a game there, Donovan. Yeah. Well, I, I, so, my first game was, a, I mean. Like 180? I, no, my first game was a one. I, I finished well my first game. You missed your spares. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, tenth frame. Yeah, he uh, uh, triple X. There you go. Yeah. So I, I, I only ended up with a one. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No. I ended up with like a 140 or 146 my first game. I had a 181 the second game, and then I shot that 221, which is the first 200 game. Did you save the card? Did you did you nah. take a picture of it and post it on Facebook for us? Nah, no, but he, he, he did do a chicken dance in front of the old lady. I can believe that. Hey. I can believe that. Hey, oh, he was shaking it like he needed to make it. Hey, and they were all clapping. <laughs> they were, and I was laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are killing me, man. Killing me. <laughs> all right. So hey, New Orleans, unbelievable. Uh yes. there's a sleeper team. Um, it, that's a good team, okay, that you got to be concerned about, right? San Francisco. That, they're not a sleeper. They're legit to win the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, Seattle. Absolutely. Could win, yes. Green Bay? Mm, no. No. But they're in Green Bay. It doesn't matter. You don't think it matters in January? No, I don't, they, won't, they won't get there. Okay. All right. How can you be – Eight and what are they? Eight and four, eight and three, nine, ten and four. I mean, four? Let, you know, let's say it this way: they're 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 they're, they're stiff competition, right? They just don't have the edge. You know, the Ravens got the edge. Um, you know, well, the, the Ravens the, are AFC. The Pats, though, aren't hey, no, they? We're, we're talking the about Pats the NFC. Don't, yeah. Pats don't have the edge. So, the 49ers, they've got the edge. I mean, Seattle's there. Yeah, the, Seattle's pretty stout. I mean. If you throw the top New six Orleans up against, is there. New Orleans yeah. is there. Let's throw the top six up. Yeah. Let's I do mean, that. Let's go. It, you have to go Cowboys or uh, the Philadelphia. Whoever wins out on that part of it, you got yeah. Whoever New wins Orleans, this game this weekend is right. going to be that going to be that division. And, right. And the crazy thing is, even if Dallas loses and they win their next game and Philadelphia loses. If Philadelphia loses, they still get in. Which is right. Oh yeah, I mean they end up in the, it's stupid. In the playoffs with a. I regress. Yeah, so. with a losing schedule. Yeah, we're crazy. So you got the Saints, you got uh, San Francisco, San Francisco, Seattle. You have Seattle. So who's that mystery team? Top six. What do you think? Everybody else is AFC. I still think it's Green Bay. I mean, well, I mean they're ele- what they're eleven and three, right? Yeah. It's got to it's got to be Green Bay then, you know. It has to be. It has to be yeah. because yeah. Be, and, and because right. you know, I mean, I just have I, no faith in them. I just, I I just think I think it's tough to go to Lambeau and play in, in December. That's all yeah. I'm saying. No, no, you're right. But 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 I don't. But I think there's good enough teams that can overcome that. Like you look at San Francisco and Seattle, and you look at, uh, you know, I don't I don't know if Dallas. Can well, they I guess they could match up with those teams if it came down to well, it if they okay, played the so right Herbie. game, but not what I've seen happening. Yeah, Hurdy and and D. I mean, this is like my take on the Cowboys. New Orleans could run yeah, over anybody. Yeah, New Orleans. Well, they're pissed off about getting robbed from the uh, playoffs last year. You're right. You know, one bad call that was just horrific. You're right. You know, my, my take on the Cowboys is, uh, you know, they, they have all the ingredients, right? They just got to put it together. And, I mean, they, they're they a contender against anybody. But, you know, w- which team do you get? You know, you get, a, you get them in the, the Jets, da- The Jets Dallas or the, or the, <laughs> right? or the Rams yeah. Dallas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, which Dallas are, are we going to see? Because, I mean, this game, you know, against um, – the Eagles, I mean, that's a big game. That is a big game. And, I mean, they Huge need to put on their, you know, big boy pants and pack lunch and go kick some ass. For well, sure. 
They beat them 37 to like 10 the last time uh, and ran over them and, and, and flat, flat out just psychologically put them down. What's going to change? I mean, Philadelphia, to me, I watched that game last week. They only won by a skin of their teeth, and they didn't look that good on defense. You know, right. And they've got a bunch of injuries. As dirty as they are, you know, they might be packing shivs or baseball bats. I mean, there you go. It might be a right. ball. Right. Yeah, I mean, you just don't know. Some brass knuckles and, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah, and, hey, uh, hey you know, uh, everybody needs to be aware that uh, we're starting the Saturday games because that, that big game uh, at 4.30 on Saturday uh, between the Bills and the Patriots. Uh, That's going to be a good football game. Yeah. And wherever yeah, they play, yeah. it's going to be snowing. How do you like that? Yeah, well, they're right? it's like Yankee on Yankee violence. It's the best type. Yankee mm. on Yankee, damn, Tom. If they play in Yankee. Buffalo, they'll be they'll be lake effect. If they play in New England, just be freaking cold. <laughs> yeah. So but so it, either way, they're playing in winter weather. Yeah. Right, and those teams love that, so that's good. Hey, so guys, I'm gonna switch the subject on you a little bit. Um, I watched the President's Cup. Y'all probably don't care about golf, do you? I I actually like to play it. But you don't and, like to watch it. No, I well, do watch it. I do watch it. Well, I did not watch the President's Cup. Well, we were down and ended up coming back and winning the President's Cup. And I watched Tiger Woods play his final round on Sunday. You did. That guy is on all four cylinders or well, eight cylinders, depending on what kind of car you want. He was hitting the golf ball and shaping it any way he wanted, making putts. I say Tiger Woods is going to be a very dangerous player this year. So I heard some things um, that – so he didn't play Saturday, right? He didn't play Saturday. but Because that he, nothing he didn't to, feel right, right? Well, they he, said he didn't feel right. He made they a They said that, decision. but then he came out and shot, uh, uh, you know, he, he was On fine. Sunday. He was but fine. On the press conference Sunday, if I'm not mistaken – he told the guy, because he had said something that he was playing against, be careful what you ask for. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was him. something, he and he him. was he was kind of smiling, because he, he called him. the day before, I guess he called him out when they paired him up, and he said, be careful be careful what you ask for. Right. And and he tore him up. Well, I mean, I, yeah. I, the whole USA, he worked him. The worked whole him. USA team on Sunday. Worked him did their thing and and it, it, it no it, my point is uh, it, what I was saying about Tiger was I you know I'm glad they won the president's club but this guy has his game on right yeah. now he's he knows gonna, his body yeah. he's gonna he's going to be in some winter circles this year big time maybe a major I, I'll me. predict he'll win another major this year and Bye. and I'll even predict he probably wins three or four tournaments that's how good he played I mean, one he won the major last year. Yeah, he won the everybody, Masters. Won the everybody Masters. forgets, like he's he's back. Yeah. I mean, so, his so back. Yeah, I just thought I'd brought up a little bit of that. I also uh, paid attention. You guys been paying attention to any college basketball? Of course, I have. But I, yeah, I have too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've been watching some of these matchups on YouTube TV and. Um, uh, there's some very good college basketball teams man. out there, man. And the number ones keep going down like <laughs> Yeah, flies. they keep losing. Holy smoke. Texas Tech took out Louisville. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. I thought Louisville was overrated going into it. And Tech oh. has, a, has a solid team. But they're per pretty much even matched up as far as – You know I mean, what? That three-point shot in college can man. change a game. Of course, yeah. You know, in the old days before they had that, right, you could you could recruit the big guys and dominate the paint and the bad yep. teams just went away. But half decent teams that have good three point shooters can keep you in any game now. That's yeah. that's the difference to yeah. me. I think the last team to actually dominate inside before the three point shot, if I'm not mistaken, is probably the Georgetown Warriors. Yeah, like or even Duke. With Patrick Ewing. And yeah. Because I mean Two, sh two points is two points no matter where you shoot it from. And they used to yeah. pack the middle in. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's what I'm saying. Before they had that shot, you know, those big boys, could uh, you had to yep. go in and drive or shoot two pointers and you couldn't stay in the game. But now yep. um, I watched uh, Auburn play St. Louis the other night, right? Auburn's undefeated, and they were playing a good – Auburn's playing a good basketball team. And 
but they killed them with the three point shots. Just killed oh, sure. them. They couldn't compete underneath. They yeah. did, but not like St. Louis has some pretty big guys. My point is the three shot, the three point shot made a difference. Well, the funny thing about basketball and football is basketball. One's round and. Well, oh, no, no, no. Okay. You, right. you, if you have five guys, you could turn a, a French or a French, a college or whatever round yeah. with, with five guys. It takes 24 in, in football. Yeah. With football. offense and defense and special teams. Yeah. So it, it, you're talking about 30, 40 guys that you have to have. You could turn with a little bit of depth, you know, with some, but with five guys. All it takes is a couple of transfers. And a couple of good recruits, and you, you're rolling. Yeah, and and you know what? Speaking of that, um, not to flip the subject, but though you're, you're starting to see, I'm starting to see more transfers in the last two years in college than I've ever seen before. Right? Of course. People are looking to transfer yeah. so they can become a starter and get involved. That's pretty awesome. Well, it doesn't hurt that you have Joe Burrow as a transfer. No. Yeah. You Think have about Justin. that. Justin Fields, State. Justin Fields is yeah. a yeah. transfer. Yeah. And uh, uh, I could see him. Uh, Hurts. Justin uh, Hurts. Yeah, he's a home. transfer from Alabama. Yeah. Like you got exactly. three of the four that have all transferred. Right. So they went to Better Horizons, which only hurts college football, if you ask me. Yeah, but, but but Hurts huh. has already won a a a, 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 a Hurts, championship yes. game for Alabama. Yeah, I yeah, but so look at think about being able to tell your kids you have a championship. If he were let's say they were to win it, think about telling your kids you have both a championship team in college from Alabama and Oklahoma. How cool would yeah. that be? Uh, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. That'd be I mean, that that's but it ain't gonna happen. But that's okay. Right. All right, guys. So what else? We get wrapped up here. Todd, right. come on, man. Okay, go ahead, Donovan. No, Todd, go ahead. If you got something, if not, I, I got something. Uh, Anything. Well, I mean, are we done with the NFL? Um, Unless you have some final no. Go ahead. If you got something, let's go. All right. Well, um, so we got Saturday games, the uh, Bills-Patriots the midday game, and then the uh, Rams 49ers. That, that should be pretty good, too. And then, you, you think the Bills are going to beat uh, New England? I think it's very possible because Tom it's a Brady, toss up. Do you think it's a toss yeah, up? I mean, you know, the, the Pats picked up Sanu, right? Yep. And uh, he's starting to catch some passes. I mean, it takes a while for, you know, receivers and quarterback to kind of learn how to dance with one another, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's definitely going to help. But Tom's had a really tough year getting the ball to anybody. I mean, his. Uh, his stats are like horrible and the bills, I mean, they've been on a tear for what, like four or five games in a row that they've won and they've got all the momentum. So I, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a, a good game. I think it's kind of a toss up. Sure. And then, I mean, I'd pick the uh, 49ers over the Rams and then on Sunday, uh, Saint and, the Saints and the Titans, but the Saints are going to roll over them. Yep. And then Cowboys and Eagles. And then, of course, the Chiefs are going to kind of like um, – they're going to sodomize the Bears, kind of like uh, that happened with the Cowboys. Yep. Yeah, that prediction was right. Damn. Yeah. 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 I'm, and New Orleans and, – and Dallas should win. And what about who's New Orleans play? Uh, the Titans. Oh, they'll yeah. they'll roll over them. Yeah. They'll roll over them. I think they're hurting. You know, I think they're hurting. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, the sleeper team in the AFC nobody's talking about is Houston. But I, I got Houston on here. They're playing the Bucks this this week. Right, and in Houston secondary, since they've gotten healthy, is really good. And they should roll the and, Bucks. This and week. I'm telling you, that team, uh, people better watch out. That I don't know what level they're at, but based on what I've seen them play, they look pretty good. Pretty Make good. the playoffs, maybe a game in the playoffs. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't see them making it to the championship. No, I don't either. But I am saying they're playing pretty good football right now. They don't have a good enough bat pass rush at this point. Yeah, I agree. They don't. All right, guys. All right. Uh, one well, last thing. UFC yep. Yep, 245 uh, ended pretty well uh, with uh, some knockouts and everything. I'm not going to get into it, but 246. McGregor and Cowboy Cerrone are going to fight in January. Yeah. Very, very excited. 
my my son just graduated uh, college Monday. Oh, congratulations! Uh, yes, yes. Now, I'll put some applause on that for my sound effects. Yeah. That? Okay. I'll yes. do that. All right. Yes. So first, and you know, you can call it whatever you want with my family, but first, you used to get a degree. So congratulations! Very, That's very, awesome, man. very excited. It was a very excited time. Proud dad. Family. Yes, proud dad. Proud grandparents that were there, and proud family. Um, just to start of the domino effect, got my daughter's about to, you know, Baylor and got my, my youngest boy. Anyway, man, beyond all that, um, McGregor and Cowboy uh, Cerrone are going to be fighting in January. Is that a pay-per-view? Pay-per-view, January okay. 18th. Yeah. And uh, he thinks, my son, uh, just about to graduate, thinks that McGregor's going to just roll over Cowboy. All right. And, and I think it could happen. Yeah. But I don't Never think it's going to happen. I don't yeah. think it's going to happen. I'm with you. So anyway, I just was going to put that out there. Hey, I think that's great. Congratulations to the the proud dad, right. man. That's awesome, man, Donald. Very, very proud. Very, very, very proud. So thank you. Todd needs to buy him a beer or two. He already I, has. I, I tried to. You tried. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, uh, it's the holiday season. Uh, before we wrap up, I want to tell both you guys kind of Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'm, I would like to think that maybe next week, since Christmas is on Wednesday, right? Uh, are you guys open for maybe recapping this week on a later day, like a Thursday or Friday? What's your schedule? Are you guys going to be out of town or booked or what? No, I'm going to be in town. Uh, Todd, if you are, I'm good. Uh, so yeah. I, Okay. Yeah, just uh, shoot me a text, Hardy, and I think uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be in Dallas, but I'll have my notebook, and I can do my Zoom from anywhere, right? So it's no big deal. I'll yeah. just give you guys some options as the week goes. Okay, I just Perfect. would like to have a chance to recap everything, uh, you know, over the holidays since we're kind of throwing ourselves out there tonight. So perfect. Yeah, be nice I'm to good, chat man. about it. Okay? Absolutely. All right, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank guys. you, Hardy. Thanks for listening to the Internet Sports Broadcast Network. We've had a good time talking to Tech Ted Talk, Todd, Frank, Donovan Hughes. Donovan's walking Wikipedia Encyclopedia Sports. So the rest of us just sit around and listen. Peace. <laughs> Peace. And you guys have a – be safe, have fun, and, and we'll see you guys. So we'll catch up to you guys next week, man, and y'all have a great evening. Good night, everybody. Be good or be good at it. That's right. Merry good. Christmas. Thanks, Todd. Good night, everybody. Right. Bye.